Now we want to create a map using Data Wrapper. What type of map do you want to create? Choose the best map type. So there are three options. There's the Choropleth map, the symbol map, or the locator map. We're going to choose the Choropleth map where color regions to show data like unemployment rates or election results on a map. Upload your own map or use any of our more than 1,000 maps. The resulting map is responsive and interactive. So let's click on it. Okay, what type of map do you want to create? Well, we have um, data from a data set from Europe, so we're going to create a European map. We're going to click Next. You can upload your own map, but we are going to select Europe. Okay, so now it's time to add data to your map. To fill the table below with the values you want to visualize, you can add additional columns to the table by right-clicking. You can also import your data set automatically by clicking on the Import button below the table. Um, you could do that. We want to geocode using names, so we're going to select names. Um, we're going to use our own data set, but it only requires one column of values. So we're going to have to modify our original data set, our homicide set. So if we open that up, we're going to select year and we're going to filter and we're going to go largest to smallest. And we're going to select the year, the, the latest year, which is 2017. So you select country and homicides and we want just 2017. And we copy this information and then we want to import our data set so we click on that um, these are options we already said we're doing names so we're going to start importing and then we're going to select all and then paste select all and then paste and there they are we're going to hit next to import your data set please copy your data set into the table and click next we're going to click next so the country is matched as names, or you can make homicide match as names, but we clearly want the countries to be names. So we hit next. Okay, um, there's an error here. It says that this is not a name. We don't have, um, it, there's no name for this. So we can change this name. It's actually supposed to be the Czech Republic. So we can change that by clicking next and okay to continue. And we choose that value and we replace it with the Czech Republic. Come on. And paste. The Czech Republic. All right, so now we have appropriate names that match and then matching values for homicide. Uh, it says we click the first row as caption because we want labels. Congratulations, you're done. Hit go. So this is the beginning of our data. We hit proceed. Now we're on the visualization step. Um, like before, we're gonna have the higher values be red and the lower values be a lighter, uh, a cool color like blue or green. So we're gonna do that, but we're gonna invert the colors. So reverse the colors so that the higher colors. And this is, uh, the values are too close together. So we're gonna have to slide the scale to the left. Oops, come on. There we go. Okay, so that changes the color palette. So you can definitely see which ones are higher than others. Higher values are in red, lower values are in blue. Um, we want the map to be zoomable, so we that one's checked. Um, hide regions without data. No, well, we don't need that because we like seeing the map. Then there's the map key. We don't need a map key for the title. Um, automatically generate legends. We don't, well, you do that. Uh, we're gonna, for number format for the map key, we're going to have it as... Mm, 
we'll put it as actually I like the K. That way it's it's smaller. People understand it. The position is the bottom right, correct? All right, we're gonna annotate it. Um we're gonna call this homicides in 2017. We're gonna put the data source as Eurostat. The creator is me. Great. Now what's next? No, we forgot. We want to see the, the countries. To do that, we go to map labels country. There we go. And so map labels country, and we want we want minimum zoom for labels to be one. So you see them. Uh, you want, you see them even if you zoom in or out. You're always seeing them. And then we want to click prevent label overlap. All right, good. That's excellent. Uh, you can zoom in and out right there. Oh, there you go. That option is available. All right, so now we're gonna go to annotate, which we did, and then design. Um, we want to select data wrapper with data. So the data you can get data on the bottom and out locale we want English so we're good with all of this um, you can click enable social sharing to and all the social sharing icons come up but we don't need to do that so we're gonna put that there and we're gonna hit publish all right so then you we have the same options we can publish the chart um, you click clear if you want to embed your chart so you can with a shareable URL or copy embedded code here uh, and then we're also going to create an image, a static image, download. So you have to download PNG, and I like these settings, so that's great. And let's see how it looks. All right, and there it is. That's, that's what it looks like.